In most wildlife conservation missions, rangers rely on high-tech surveillance and weapons to track and protect animals. But here in Dragati Forest, a 10,477-hectare forest on the slopes of Mount Kenya, the only tool being used to search for this elusive mountain bongo is a camera trap. Making sure that our settings are correct. Conservationists believe that this device could help answer one key question. Does the mountain bongo still exist in this forest? The mountain bongo, a rare forest antelope, was once abundant in Kenya's highland forests. But over the years, deforestation, poaching and disease have driven its population to fewer than 100, mostly found in the Abadeas and Masai Mau forests. In Rigati, it was believed to have disappeared completely until recent camera trap images suggested otherwise. So these animals uh, initially existed in this forest in large numbers, but as from uh, 1970s, their population came down. So the last uh, uh, mountain bongo was spotted in 2018 in a camera trap that was set up by an organization called the Bongo Surveillance uh, Project. A camera trap is a camera that is automatically triggered by motion in its vicinity, like the presence of an animal or a human being. According to community wildlife rangers, the method which has proven viable is not without challenges. We have found that our cameras are not very safe, as we have found some cameras stolen, but that was way back in 2022. But from there we have heightened up our security and we don't have any more cases of theft. And still, there is another thing of animals destroying the cameras, mostly the elephants, the bush pigs, and also you can find, there was a time that we found a hyena had chewed off the camera. And to avoid that, we have been putting steel cages on our cameras. You can find that they have recorded like 2,000 animals, and on a lower number you can find like 5,500 images that have been captured. So from the images, we can know how many times did an animal occur there, which species have been captured more, and how many are they in that habitat. And uh, we always install them on a one kilometer apart distance, and that is very helpful as you'll be able to capture each and every species that is in the forest. While camera trapping continues in Dragati, a separate conservation effort has been ongoing since 2003 to prevent the species from disappearing completely. That year, a bongo repatriation program from the U.S. was invented at Mount Kenya Game Ranch, marking the first step in a long-term recovery plan. So the critically endangered mountain bongo uh, is in the verge uh, of extinction, and we only have less than 60 animals, or let me say less than 80 animals left in the wild. So we are here uh, trying to reintroduce the mountain bongo, which were historically uh, found in this forest of Ragati and Chehe, according to data uh, gotten from camera trapping efforts, uh, as, as well as traditional ecological interviews done to people who were hunting these antelopes in the mountain forests of Kenya, and especially in Mount Kenya and Ragati and Chehe. In 2014, Kenya received its first batch of 10 bongos from North America, followed by the birth of four calves in captivity. Then in 2022, a major milestone was reached, the establishment of the 776-acre Mawingo Mountain Bongo Sanctuary in partnership with the KWS and KFS. In 2023, another 10 bongos were flown in, increasing the sanctuary's population to 24 individuals. The goal, to create a self-sustaining herd that can eventually be reintroduced into secure wild habitats. As soon as we are done uh, finishing that site in Ragati Forest, uh, the reintroduction site, we are going to bring a number of individuals, maybe around uh, 10 per year uh, in the next maybe five years so that we can have a good population that we breed uh, in Ragati uh, the introduction site in a way that uh, they can be released later in the, in the world. But for the team in Ragati, the ultimate victory will be proving that the bongo still survives in the wild. If they find evidence, it could pave way for stronger protection for the forest and the species, which faces the threat of extinction. 
two different conservation strategies, one searching for survivors, the other building a future. Beyond these efforts, Kenya's Mountain Bongo National Action Plan, led by KWS and other conservation partners, envisions a future where a viable free-ranging population of species thrives in its historic habitat. The target, 730 individuals over the next 50 years. Whichever path determines the next chapter for the mountain bongo, in the wild or within protected sanctuaries, one thing is certain, the fight to save this rare species is far from over. Gertrude Bourget, K24 TV.